Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. So the search for soot is uh, still the primary objective of the quest, but I'm heading now into a secondary objective called Time to Repent. So this is a side quest. So I've just cut the video of the search for soot to record this. So let's see, we're in the same area. Search for soot. So these are all places to, oh, these are places, places that I've been, okay. So search for soot, we're not doing that. We're doing time to repent. We're there already. So let's check. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. Oh, I can hear someone getting shouted at. You know me. I'm straight up searching the basements for shit. I always search where I can go before going to the objectives. Because otherwise, if you just go straight to the objectives, you usually miss stuff like this. And I'm all about the side quests. I'm all about getting the collectibles and all that shit. Not sure if we need to go up another floor. Let's just see if so we're not going in any of these doors, but we got a bit of criminal evidence there. Up the stairs we go to the next floor. go to the door oh well, we're gonna go there now <laughs> that's loud Robocop. are you here about Mike yes I am sorry to hear about your husband No, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? 
Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. We will go to the basketball court. Well, let's have a look around her house, see if she's stashed any nuke. There's a recommendation letter. Detroit Against Addiction Program Agreement. Participant Joshua Pickles Green, 34. Abuse substance nuke. Person referring Michael Briggs. Reason for referral. Joshua has made some wrong decisions in his life and has been living with the consequences ever since. But he is a man of great spirit and remarkable people skills. I am convinced that he really wants to make a difference. But in order to do so, he needs professional help and someone to believe in him. DAA is a voluntary program. Therefore, we need participant's signature in order to enroll them in our center. In our center. And then there's no signature there. So. Frame photo of Briggs family. So I think we better go now. There's nothing else. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Come on, Pickles. Let's tell this stupid fuck. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. Follow the chalk trail. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Killers. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. 
I guess we're conducting an investigation. <laughs> Detroit gang, pew pew. We're now heading into a new part of town. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? Where's the nuke? Where's the drugs, man? Shoe print, size seven. That's gotta be his. Obviously looking for that nuke. Shem can't step up. So we literally no jump, so we have to go up the stairs. locked they did not go inside although they obviously tried to there's a ladder up here unreachable they threw out the chalk here must have found something more interesting. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, <laughs> like new. What the fuck? I hear gunshots. We better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? This little Fucking fuck. Up. He's laughing at you. He's a good boy. He didn't hey, do what's nothing. What's going on over there? Yo. Daniel. Oh, no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears you. You dumb it. bastard. My dad's missing. So he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know... Why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead, and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. 
You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. So that was the side quest Parker, time to what's repent. The on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. So that's time to repent finish. A like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that. If not, go fuck yourself. I'll see you in my next video.